Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you for watching. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Sean on Ryan and I post new videos weekly. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss a post. Okay, so for this video, as you can tell from the title, my husband and I are going to be doing the peel and stick tile on our basement floor. So if you want to know more about that, then please keep watching. Okay, so first I'm going to tell you guys why we decided to do it. So as you can tell from this video, this tile was so 60s, like 70s. Honestly, I don't even know what era it was, but it was not our taste at all. Um, the basement is his man cave, and we did a little bit of work down here, painted, you know, not too much, but the floor was just a mess, and we couldn't stand it anymore. So... I wanted to do the peel and stick tile because I know how well it worked. Um, my mom actually has it in her house and she has it in her kitchen living room area which is obviously a very high traffic area and she's going on 20 years with peel and stick tile that she got from Home Depot so clearly you know it works and she has it in her kitchen and like I said living room which is obviously a lot of high traffic foot area she's moving furniture used every cleaning product under the sun so it has held up perfectly it looks immaculate great job so I'm like you know what let's do that as well so we went to Home Depot and we spent $500 on peel and stick. Basically our basement area, um, it's 27 by 24, um, was the longest parts of the room, which we use that square footage as our calculation for how much we need to, needed to account for, like any waste to make sure we had enough. Um, so obviously, you know, depending on what room you're going to have, the measurements are gonna be different. We bought 19 boxes of peel and stick tile. And in the basement here, we have poles, like you can see right behind me. And we have this pool table here, um, which we had to cut around. And we have the bar over there as well, which you had to cut around. So you'll see how we do that. But hopefully, you know, if you have a basement, this will kind of help if you have like poles like that. But if not, if you just have like a flat surface kitchen area with nothing in the middle or anything, then it should be super easy. Okay, so this is the box that the peel and stick tile came in. It is the brand uh, Traffic Master. And this is 24 planks in one box. It's six by 36. And the color, so the color I couldn't really find on the box. I have the SKU number, so I'll write that in the description box below. But this is what it looks like. Um, you can see it's the peel and stick, so it's very sticky. And it really feels like wood. Like you can even hear it. So it, and nobody knows that this is like peel and stick tile. So that's what we really liked about it. We liked how it was like a gray neutral color because the basement down here, we have like kind of gray nude walls and we have a black couch. So we're like, ooh, what can we do? So this is perfect. And I feel like it was a shorter amount of time because when I did my mom's kitchen, she just has a regular square, which obviously took longer, but these are longer. So it took a little bit of a shorter time. Uh, this basically took us two days to do. Uh, the first night was like three and a half, four hours or so. Second night, you know, four hours. So you could definitely do this in one day without a doubt, depending on how big or small your room is. So products that you're going to need in this video are obviously the peel and stick tile and this roller. And I will explain what I do with that roller later on in the video, but you're going to need that. First thing that you're going to want to do is obviously move any furniture that you have around and you're going to want to clean. So right here you see me vacuuming. Uh, this was the basement so it kind of had like some little pebbles and stuff from when we did construction um, that I never really got around to vacuuming. So I'm just vacuuming that up, uh, mop, sweep, whatever you want. So when you do peel and stick towel, you want to start from the middle and work your way out. So in this clip right here, we're just laying it down right in the middle just to kind of stagger and see how we want it before we actually peel it down and stick it. So we're doing one straight line across and then you're going to see how we stagger it. Uh, we're doing like six to four inches apart. Right here, my husband is laying it down and you can see how we're staggering it. You don't have to, but it just makes it look more realistic and make it look like wood. So we didn't, you know, lay the, uh, down every piece before sticking it. We just did a couple of rows just to see if we really truly did like it. And then we started unpeeling it and sticking it. Okay, so without further ado, please continue watching the video. And in the video, I'm gonna pop in and show you guys what exactly what we're doing, what we're up to. So please keep watching. Ooh, pretty. 
Friday. We started at 5.30 and it's now 6.20. This is how much we got done. We started in the middle here and then we staggered them about like four to six inches. So you could see this line right here next. We just kept going. Um, and then over here in the corners, so right here, this is where we stopped it, and he's been uh, cutting it, measuring it, and then cutting it right here, and just laying it flat so you could see. He cut it here, cut it here, etc. Put it up to the end, I overlap it with the previous tile. Just pull it back. You're gonna get your line, so that way you make sure it meets, and you just put a little, little mark there so that way my blade will catch it. When I go, I, I fortunately have a straight line with the tile right here. And I'm going to use a level. And just lightly go right here. And then you just snap it. All right, you cut the backing off. Now, you flip this over. This is the uncut side. This is the factory, so I know it's straight. It'll butt up against this nicely. Rather than the cut side, if you, if you waver a little bit, it, it might be off. There might be a gap. It doesn't matter if it's going up against that, that wall there. See, there you go. This is where we're at right now. It's 7.48. It's been like two hours, I guess, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's been like two hours. It looks so good. Oh my goodness. Teamwork going on. He's cutting the corners and laying down the middle. Say the hardest part is so far. The hardest part? Yeah. Is the end piece is where you gotta cut. Yeah. And you're doing that. <laughs> Okay, so this is where the roller comes in. So basically, you just roll this on the floor and it makes the tile stick down even more if there's any little like bumps coming up. So, I'm just gonna line this up. Put the board next to it so I can kind of get my line here for what I need. I have this saker thing here that kind of just molds what you're trying to cut around. So not really knowing how much I need to cut. Well, actually I do it to take this line here. So probably about a quarter of an inch. So I can take this line. Give me an idea of where I need to cut. And I'm actually gonna freehand it with the blade. So, I mean, it's not perfect, but it'll do. So this is where we're at right now, halfway there. Only have this much left to do. So he's currently cutting around the pool table. Same thing like what we were doing before with these poles here. So he's using that tool and going around it. The floor is a little uneven, but we've been making it work. So almost there. Okay, so this is the finished product we absolutely love how it came out it looks amazing what a difference my god the only thing that we do have to finish is the molding so you could see some of the old tile popping out right there but the molding is going to cover that we tested it so that worked out so just the molding we have to do but oh my god what a difference it feels amazing to just walk on it, it feels like real wood don't mind all of our products over there. It's the garbage we have to throw out. We did behind the bar, which looks so good. Just 
it makes the downstairs basement just look that much bigger. It's insane. Over here, I'm definitely going to get like an area rug to put over here. But we absolutely love how it came out. It is so totally worth it. If you guys are thinking about it or even hesitant on doing it, this is your video to tell you to do so. <laughs> like, not even joking. What a difference it makes. And it's cheap. Like I said, it was 500 bucks for 19 boxes of peel and stick. So I just want to walk you over here again. We have to do the molding, so don't mind that. But, like, I'll take you down here a little bit. You could just see how realistic it looks and feels too. So this is where he cut along the edges like you guys saw and how we staggered it because I feel like if we just did it all straight across it would have looked very odd. So this is what it looks like. We're so excited. Highly, highly suggest doing it. If you guys are thinking about it. Just makes the downstairs basement look so different. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, again, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know if you guys like these types of videos because I will gladly do more.